Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Michael A. Potter. I'd like to welcome you to my next podcast. And we're going to be celebrating World Music Day, which is scheduled this year for June 21st, 2024. To celebrate World Music Day, what I'd like to tell you about is how we're going to go about the podcast. So, I've got four songs from four different continents and four different singers. And I'd like to share with you over the next few minutes the choices that I've made for these four wonderful songs which I really hope you're going to enjoy listening. So, the first song comes from Europe. And the artist I've selected is Luciano Pavarotti. Let me tell you a bit about Luciano Pavarotti. Luciano Pavarotti was born in 1935. He was an Italian operatic tenor. He achieved global acclaim. He was born on October 12, 1935 in Modena, Italy. Pavarotti's parents were Fernando Pavarotti, a baker and an amateur tenor, and Adele Venturi, his mother, a cigar, cigar factory worker. Despite financial constraints within the family, Pavarotti developed a passion for music. In his childhood, he was very interested in his father's records, which featured popular tenors of the day. Pavarotti spent seven years in vocal training, honing his skills. Pavarotti actively supported humanitarian causes, including working with the Red Cross and refugees. And in 1988, he received the Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. He collaborated with artists like Bono and U2, raising funds for various United Nations causes. His legacy includes two Guinness World Records and a posthumous star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He emerged as one of the most acclaimed tenors of all times. <clears throat> he made numerous recordings of complete operas and individual arias. His powerful voice and expressive performance earned him the nickname King of the High Seas. Pavarotti was part of the legendary three tenors and left an indelible mark on classical music. In the, 99, in the 1990 FIFA World Cup, the BBC used Pavarotti's recording to promote their coverage of the 1990 World Cup in Italy. The song transcended opera, becoming an anthem of determination and hope for victory both on and off the field. Pavarotti sadly passed away from pancreatic cancer on 6th of September 2007. Pavarotti's final performance of Ness and Dorma was at the 2006 Winter Olympics in Turin. So that gives you a clue on the song that I'm going to select. Ness and Dorma is the first song we will be playing. So let me tell you a bit about the meaning of Ness and Dorma. The song Ness and Dorma is an aria from Giacomo Puccini's opera Turandot. The lyrics are written in Italian and the song is sung by the character Calaf, a prince who has fallen in love with the princess Turandot. The song's title, Ness and Dorma, translates to None shall sleep in English. The lyrics speak of Calaf's determination to win Turandot's heart. Despite the danger and difficulty of the task, 
He sings of his love for her and his willingness to risk everything to be with her. None shall sleep, even you, O oh princess, in your cold room. Watch the stars that tremble with love, and my mystery is locked within me, and no one shall know my name. Reflects Caliph's passion and determination. He's saying that no one will sleep until he has won Tarandot's heart, and that even the princess herself will be unable to resist his love. The mystery he refers to is his true identity, which he keeps hidden from Turandot. The song Nesandorma is a declaration of love, a vow to pursue his heart's desire and a testament to the power of love to overcome even the greatest obstacles. So let us now play the song Nesandoma, sung by Luciano Pavarotti. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to that wonderful rendition and beautiful song from Pavarotti, his marvellous, exceptional voice. Strong, powerful, with meaning. What a wonderful song. So let's talk about the impact of the song Nesendorma. Well, it's about love and determination Nesendorma shows. Prince Calaf's unwavering commitment to, win, to winning Turandot's love, even at the risk of death. It symbolises the power of love to overcome obstacles and the bravery required to reveal one, one's true self. So some of the opinions about this song. Well, Pavarotti's artistry and charisma made him an icon. His ability to evoke deep emotions through music touched hearts globally. Nessan Dorma remains a testament to his legacy and the enduring power of great vocal performances. In summary, Luciano Pavarotti's life and music continue to inspire and Nessan Dorma stands as a timeless masterpiece that moves listeners across cultures and generations. Hello, welcome back. Now it's time to celebrate the second song of my podcast. Remember, we're celebrating World Music Day, 21st of June, 2024. This next song comes from the continent of Africa. And the artist I've selected is called Stone Boy. So let me tell you a little bit about Stone Boy. His name, Livingston Etsy Satakla better known by his stage name, Stone Boy, is a Ghanaian Afro-pop, Afro-dance hall and reggae artist who has made a significant impact on the global music scene. Stone Boy was born on March 5th, 1988 in Ashaim Ghana to parents, Mr. and Mrs. Satekla. His father was a retired soldier and his mother was a trader. Stone Boy's love for music started at a young age, influenced by his father's collection of records featuring Jamaican artists like Bob Marley and Peter Tosh. Stone Boy's parents have been a significant influence on his life and career. His father, a retired soldier, instilled discipline and hard work in him, while his mother, a trader, 
taught him the importance of entrepreneurship and business acumen. Stoneboy is married to Dr. Louisa Anson Setekla, a dentist and entrepreneur. The couple met in 2014 and got married in 2017. They have two children together, a boy and a girl. So let's talk a little bit now about Stoneboy's musical journey. Well, his musical journey began in high school where he formed a group called the Wyler Boys with his friends. They performed at school events and talent shows which helped him develop his stage presence and lyrical skills. After high school, Stoneboy pursued a degree in marketing at the University of Professional Studies in Accra, Ghana. In 2012, Stoneboy released his debut single, Climax, which gained moderate success. However, it was his second single, Ghetto Story, that brought him to the limelight in 2013. The song featured Ghanaian artist Jupiter and became a massive hit in Ghana and beyond. So his big breakthrough came in 2014 with the release of his debut album, Grade One. The album featured hit singles like Not Again and Pull Up, which solidified his position as a rising star in the Ghanaian music industry. In 2015, Stoneboy won the Best International Flow Artist Award at the BET Awards, becoming the first Ghanaian artist to achieve this feat. He has since released several successful albums and singles, including Ololo, featuring Tenny, Kapo K3K3, featuring Medical, Darko Vibes and Kelvin Boy, and Sugar, featuring Beanie Man. Stoneboy's journey to becoming a successful musician is a testament to his hard work, his hard work, dedication and passion for music. With his unique blend of Afro-pop, dancehall and reggae, he has become a household name in Ghana and beyond. His family, including his parents and wife, have been a constant source of support and inspiration throughout his career. Stoneboy is a testament to his journey to becoming a successful musician. And Alolo is one of his standout songs that showcases his talent and his impact on the music industry. So let me now talk a little bit about the song I'm going to select. It's called Alolo. Alolo means love. Alolo is a reggae love song by Stoneboy. Featuring Nigerian singer Tenny, the song is a mix of Ghanaian language, you, pidgin and English. The lyrics suggest a romantic interest in a woman with both artists expressing their desire to give and receive love. Stoneboy's verses highlight his originality and authenticity in his approach to love, emphasising that he won't play games or deceive his partner. He also mentioned his willingness to spend money on her and take her on a ride to Tema, which is a city in Ghana. Tenny's verse talks about caution against jealousy, mentioning scenarios where she might see him with other women, but she trusts him and wants to receive his love. The chorus, a lolo, can be interpreted as a term of endearment or an expression of love. The repetition of girl, I want to give you my low, low love and come make you try my low, low love emphasises the, the desire to share and experience love. The song is romantic and upbeat, an upbeat track celebrating love and affection. So there is some information about the song. Let me now play the song for you. 
Alola, sung by Stone Boy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the song. So let's talk about the impact this song had has had on people and listeners. So Alolo has become an anthem for others and a cultural phenomenon in Ghana and beyond. The song's catchy melody and lyrics have made it a favorite among music lovers. So what's the real life impact of Alolo? Alolo has been played at numerous weddings and events and its lyrics have been used as love messages and social media posts. The, song, the song's impact on Ghanaian culture and the music industry as a, a whole is undeniable. So some opinion on the song to finish. Alolo is a masterpiece that showcases Stone Boy's lyrical prowess and Tenny's vocal talent. The collaboration with Tenny showcase the energy between Ghanaian and Nigerian artists, fostering cultural exchange. Overall, Alolo remains a feel-good track that celebrates love and connection. In summary, Stoneboy's journey from resilience to stardom, coupled with his musical versatility, versatility has solidified his name as a celebrated artist. Alolo stands as a testament to his ability to create captivating music that leaves a lasting impact on listeners. It's now time for the third song of my podcast, Celebrating World Music Day. I hope you've enjoyed the first two tracks. It's time now for my third track, which comes from Asia. The song title is Affinities of This Life, or in Chinese, Wo Men Jin Sheng Zhu Ding. The artist is Jin Sheng Yuan. So let me tell you a little bit about our next artist, Jin Sheng Yuan. He was born on 12th of October 1985 in Guangzhou, China, to Mr. Li Xing and Mrs. Chen Haiyan. His father, a music teacher, and his mother, a vocalist, exposed him to music from a very early age. Jin Sheng Yuan's parents encouraged his passion for music and he began learning the guitar at age 10. His education, well, Jin Shang Yuan attended Guangzhou No. 1 Middle School, where he formed a band with his friends and began writing his own songs. He later enrolled in the music department of Guangzhou University, honing his skills in music theory, composition and performance. What about his musical journey? Well, during his university days, Jin Shang performed at local music venues and events, building a very loyal fan base. After graduation, he moved to Beijing to pursue a career in music. In 2010, he released his debut album, Affinities of This Life, which received critical acclaim and commercial success. The album's title track, Wo Men Jin Sheng Zhu Ding, became a hit single resonating with listeners right across China. Jin Sheng has released several successful albums, including Echoes of the Heart and Life's Journey. He has collaborated with prominent art artists and he's been involved in various musical projects. Jin Sheng has received numerous awards and nominations, including the prestigious Best Male Singer Award at the Chinese Music Awards. The song Wo Men Jin Sheng Zhu Ding is a heartfelt ballad that explores the themes of fate, friendship 
and the ups and downs of life. Jin Sheng's soulful vocals and lyrics captured the emotions of his audience, making this song an instant classic. So let me tell you a little bit about the meaning of the song before we play it for you. So the meaning of the song. Well, the song Affinities of This Life is a reflection on the journey of life, acknowledging that our lives are destined to be full of ups and downs. The lyrics describe how we come into the world crying. But as we journey through life, we must learn to smile and find joy despite the challenges. The song highlights the importance of friendships and relationships encouraging us to cherish and hold dear the connections we make in life. The lyrics emphasise that our bonds with others are lifelong and that we should keep them close to our hearts. Also, it touches on the idea of fate and destiny, suggesting that our lives are interconnected and that we are meant to support each other through life's ups and downs. The title, Affinities of This Life, refers to the connections and relationships that we form in this life, which are a vital part of the journey. Overall, the song is a heartfelt and uplifting tune that celebrates the power of friendship, love and the human spirit. It encourages us to appreciate the relationships we have and to cherish the time we have with each other. So now, let me play for you the song, Affinities of This Life. Well, I hope you enjoyed the song, another classic, this time from Asia. So let's talk a little bit about the impact this song has had. Well, the song Affinities of This Life, Affinities of this life by Jin Xiang Yuan has had a profound impact on various aspects of society, leaving a lasting legacy in the music world. Jin Xiang Yuan's musical journey is a testament to his dedication, passion and talent. His music continues to inspire fans across China and beyond, solidifying his position as a leading figure in Chinese music. In conclusion then, Affinities of This Life is more than just a song. It is a cultural phenomenon that has touched the hearts, inspired connections and left a lasting legacy in the music world. Its impact will continue to be felt for generations to come. A testament to the power of music to unite and inspire us all. Welcome back. It's now time for my final song, song number four. And I'm delighted to tell you that this song comes from North America. So we've had one song from Europe, one song from Africa, one song from Asia, and this final song from North America. So let me talk about the choice. Well, the song title is called My Heart Will Go On. And the artiste is Celine Dion. So let me tell you a little bit about Celine Dion. Celine Dion is a Canadian singer, songwriter and entrepreneur. She was born on March 30, 1968 in Charlie Magny, Quebec, Canada. She is the youngest of 14 children born to Adimar and Therese Dion. And her early life was spent in a musical household where she was homeschooled by her mother. So the youngest child of 14 children, wow. 
Celine began singing at a young age and wrote her first song, excuse my French, Sen etat qu'un revi. It was only a dream at the age of 12. Her mother sent the song to René Angelil, a music manager who was impressed by Celine's talent and he became her manager. In 1997, Celine released the song My Heart Will Go On, which was the theme song for the film Titanic. The song became a worldwide hit, topping the charts in multiple countries and selling over 16 million copies. It won several awards, including the Academy Award for Best Original Song and the Golden Globe Award for the Best Original Song. The song's lyrics, written by Will Jennings and composed by James Horner, speak of the eternal love story of Jack and Rose in the film Titanic. Celine's powerful vocals and emotional delivery brought the song to life, making it a timeless classic. My Heart Will Go On is considered one of Celine's signature songs, and its success cemented her status as a global superstar. The song has been included in various editions of the Titanic soundtrack, which has sold over 30 million copies worldwide. Throughout her career, Celine has released several successful albums and singles, including Because You Love Me, It's All Coming Back To Me Now, and A New Day Has Come. She has won numerous awards and has been recognised for her contributions to music and philanthropy. Celine's music, including My Heart Will Go On, continues to inspire and influence new generations of music lovers around the world. Her legacy as a singer, songwriter and performer remains unparalleled and her music remains a testament to her enduring talent and appeal. So now let's talk about the selected song, My Heart Will Go On. What is the meaning of the song. Okay, so the title phrase, My Heart Will Go On, means that the speaker's love will continue to exist and endure, even if they are physically apart. The song expresses the pain of losing a loved one, but also the hope and belief that their love will never fade away. The lyrics also touch on the idea of memories and how they can keep the love alive, even in the face of tragedy. So, near, far, wherever you are, that is where my heart will go on. Love can touch us, one, and never let go. Love was when I loved you, one true time I hold to. This verse is significant because it highlights the theme of eternal love and longing. That is where my heart will go on. This line reinforces the idea that the speaker's heart will continue to beat for their loved one, even if they are physically apart. Love can touch us one and never let go. This line emphasises the power of love to transcend time and space. Once you've experienced true love, it can never be taken away. Love was when I loved you, one true time I hold to. This line is a poignant expression of the speaker's nostalgia and longing. They're holding on to the memory of their love, cherishing the time they had together. My Heart Will Go On is a beautiful and emotional song that has become a timeless classic, resonating with listeners worldwide. Let me now play you my Fourth and final song, My Heart Will Go On, sung by Celine Dion. Well, I hope you enjoyed the final song. Uh, What a beautiful rendition that was by Celine. So let's talk a little bit now about the impact and the opinion of the song. 
Well, the song's impact has been significant, with global successes, awards and a lasting legacy. It has become a cultural icon, symbolising eternal love and loss, and it continues to inspire and comfort listeners of all ages. So, let's look at some of the opinion about the song. My Heart Will Go On is a masterpiece that showcases Celine Dion's exceptional vocal talent and emotional delivery. The song's poignant lyrics, combined with its soaring melody and sweeping orchestration, create a powerful and timeless ballad that resonates deeply with listeners. The way Celine's voice conveys the pain of loss and the endurance of love is nothing short of breathtaking. The song's ability to evoke strong emotions and memories make it a classic that will continue to touch hearts for generations to come. It's a testament to the enduring power of love and the human spirit and Celine Dion's iconic performance has cemented its place as one of the most beloved and enduring songs of all time. In summary, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On has an impact on music and pop culture is undeniable cementing Celine's, Celine Dion's status as a legendary artist and ensuring the song's place in the hearts of music lovers forever. So, that's the end of the songs, the four songs for my podcast, Celebrating World Music Day. I do hope you've enjoyed my selection of eclectic songs from around the world. And I hope to be back with you again with another podcast soon. So to finish, thank you very much for listening. I do hope you've enjoyed the podcast. So, goodbye for now.